uh, number 10, a junior, Tavy Gale, 5'6", guard, averaging 6.8 points per game. Another junior, number 14, Britlin Carter, who stands 5'5", and averages 7.1 points a game. Sydney Gillins, number 21, another uh, junior forward, 5'6", who averages 9.8 points a game. Um, a senior, number 22, Lindley White, averaging 5.2 game, excuse me, 5.2 points per game. And rounding them out is, a, is another junior, Nixon Davis, number 40, who averages 6.6 .6 points a game. The Lady Beavers are coached by Jonathan Marshall, Josh Marshall, and Kayleen Washburn. And uh, they did make a, they Coach uh, Marshall changed things on us. He, he, did. he told us and the scores table that Carly Holling said was going to start. So the scores table announced Carly Holling said, and then Nixon Davis came out and he told us that uh, Carly Holling said was going to start too. So they, it looks like he did make a late change there and went back to Nixon Davis, which I believe is the usual starting lineup there. It is. That's, this has been the starting five for the Lady Beavers all season long. So just a late change there for the Beavers, and he got it corrected inside the, the, the scores book, which that's the important one to get corrected on, and we've got ours set and ready to go now as well. It'll be jumping it for the Beaver Lady Beavers, Lindley White, and she will jump it up against Dari Foster from Draper APA. Officials are set and ready to go here for the first game of the 2A play-in games, and White will control it back to Carter. She'll get it across the timeline up ahead right side to Gale, back out to Carter. Carter on the wing, back to Gale in the corner. Zone defense by APA, one dribble by Gale and she'll come back to Carter to reset the offense. Britlin up top, skip pass right side, short corner, let her go to Davis. She'll drive the lane, puts up the shot, no good, but a foul called, and they're going to wave off the shot, call it on the drive, so Beaver basketball underneath. That's the patience. You saw. You heard Coach Jonathan Marshall talking about before the pregame, just looking for those good shots, not shooting outside against this zone. Foul called on Kelly Burns. That's her first for Draper APA. Gale to inbound underneath. She'll lob out to Carter. Defense picks her up into the corner back to Gale. Wide open three-pointer off the back side of the rim. No good. Rebound tipped up. Davis has it. She'll go back up town that she's fouled. Nixon Davis the bucket and the chance at the three-point play. Davis has been fantastic on the boards this season. She's just, she comes up hard. Um, she goes up strong. Gets a first and one of the game and the first bucket of the game. Foul called on Kelly Burns. That'll be her second foul on Draper APA. She'll come out quickly. And in the game now for the Eagles will be Taylor Packer. At the line to shoot one is Nixon Davis for the Lady Beavers. And off the back rim, no good. Long rebound, and it'll be Nixon Davis that comes later. Then out to Carter. Carter looks to drive. Gets right side down the lane. Pull up. Six-footer off the right side. Hard off the glass. No good. Davis the rebound. And a foul called on the rebound. And that one is going to go against the Beavers. It's going to be on Lindley White. That'll be her first and the team's first. We call Lindley White Captain Chaos. as She's super aggressive, and she's going to pick up a first foul early on. Full court pressed on by Beaver, and Brentley Carter comes up with a steal at half court. Pass up ahead, and Gillins will lay it on the left side. Make it 4-0. Beaver with the lead, 7.20 to go here in the first quarter. Now in the backcourt for it, Draper APA is Jocelyn Foster. Pass up ahead to Dari Foster, and she'll get it to Baltazar. Baltazar near the timeline as the ball gets stripped by Gale. Picked up now by White. White up ahead, back to Gale. Put it up off the glass and in, 6-0 Beaver. We're just great team basketball there. Uh, still an easy layup. Extend the lead to six. Pass will come into Jocelyn Foster, tries to pass down the floor, knocked away by Gillins, who couldn't quite grab it before it went out of bounds. It remains Draper APA basketball. You can see the quickness of the Beaver guards here in this press. They're all over that ball, deflections and steals, uh, tons right now. Inbounding is Draper APA against the, the, in the corner. They get it into Foster. Foster going to try to dribble down the floor. He's able to get it across the timeline, tipped away from behind by the Beavers. That is Lindley White tipping it away. It'll be Draper APA basketball underneath their own basket as they get it across the timeline for the first time in this game. That was a great hustle play by White. She knew she couldn't get in front of her, so she just tipped it from behind to uh, prevent the layup. Leroy to inbound underneath. And looking in the lane, nothing there. She'll lob it up top, and Britlin Carter able to jump the pass. She's going the other way for the Beavers. Britlin pass up ahead right side to Gale. Gale put it up, missed the layup short. Rebound underneath is going to be by Gillen. She'll go back up, miss it short. And then on the rebound, Gale is going to tie up Jocelyn Foster, jump ball card. It will be at Draper APA basketball. Lady Beavers two, uh, missing two easy opportunities there. Maybe a little bit of nerves or, or something, but still great hustle by the Beavers. 6.41 to go in the first quarter. 6-0 Beaver leads Draper APA, and now there's a steal by Lindley White, and she'll lay it in easily. 8-0 Beaver. Four different players have scored the four baskets so far for Beaver in this game. And then Lindley White with another steal on the pass, and she'll turn around, misses the four-footer off the back of the rim. Rebound by Draper APA. That's Foster going the other way. She'll get it across the timeline and slow things down and set up the offense for the Eagles. Picked up by Gillins, pass right side, knocked away by Carter. Carter going the other way again for the Beavers. Fast break, left side layup is good. Bretland Carter now with two points. All five starters have scored for the Beavers. 
great team, like I talked about before, just great team effort and playing together as a team is really benefiting the Beavers. 10 to nothing, your score pass down the floor, up ahead to Packer, and it's gonna be knocked out of bounds by Packer, so it'll be Beaver basketball, what is the seventh Draper turnover? 5.58 to go in this first quarter, 10 nothing, Beaver leads Draper APA in the 2A girls play-in games at Desert Hills High School. This is the first game of the day. Tavy Gill has it, left side, she'll go to uh, Gillens. Gillens for three off the back, the rim no good. White had the ball, in the had the rebound down the lane, couldn't hold on to it, now it's picked up by the Eagles. That's Balthazar that came away with it. Now up top it goes to Jocelyn Foster, up ahead right side to Packer. Packer comes back out to Foster, swing it left side to Leroy, she'll launch the 17-footer off the glass, no good, didn't draw iron. Davis the rebound for the Beavers. Ritland Carter coming the other way, pushing the pace, up ahead left side to Gillens, pump fake on the shot, dribbles it off of her foot, and up off of Foster's foot, it'll be Beaver basketball underneath. Substitution in the game for APA Draper, number, I can't see the number there, Robert. One. One, checking in for Shelly Baltazar. So Zoe Timmons into the game. Left side, it'll go up to the wing to White, up top to Gale. Gale goes right wing to Carter. She'll launch the three. That's going to be short off the rim. Long rebound, and Timmons has it for Draper. She'll get it to Foster. He'll bring it across the timeline. 5.15 to go in the first quarter. Backs out near the Thunder logo at half court. Right elbow, they try to pass it to Packer, knocked away by the Beavers. Going the other way is Carter, tries to pass up ahead to Gillens off the foot of Foster. Out of bounds it goes. It remains Beaver basketball on the right side. Lady Beavers, the last few minutes have played a little bit more discombobulated and uh, haven't scored for a while. They need to clean this up a little bit and play a little bit more uh, clean basketball. Carter has it. She'll go right wing to White. Against the zone of Draper APA. White yo-yos back to the top of the key, comes left side to Carter on the wing. Carter picked up by Timmons in the zone. Left corner, she'll go to Gillens. Put on the line, long two, knocks it down. Sydney Gillens, the bucket. She's got four points, 12 nothing Beaver. 4.45 to go in the first quarter. Now full court press again put on by the Beavers. Foster steps through the double team, tries to pass down the floor, knocked out of bounds by Carter. It remains Draper basketball. This full court press putting a lot of uh, pressure on the Lady, uh, the Lady Eagles. There's two substitutions coming in the game. We have uh, Tierra Goff and Carly Hollingshead checking in for White and Davis. Pass will come into the backcourt, and it's going to be immediately Tierra Goff with the steal, and she'll miss the lay-in round the rim and dropped off. Got her own rebound, goes out to Gillens. Gillens in the lane, pass to Gale. Gale, the six-footer, in and out. Rebound tipped around, and Gale has it on the short corner. Looking underneath, not there. She'll come to the wing to Carter. Pump fake on the long two, going to drive in, pull up. Eight-footer on the right side, knocks it down. Britlin Carter with four points. That's what happens when you get offensive rebounds. You make those opportunities for yourselves, and Lady Beavers capitalized on it that possession. 14 nothing Beavers. Right side is Foster. She'll come to the wing to Timmons, up top to Leroy. Back to Timmons. Timmons goes back to the wing to Jocelyn Foster, picked up by the Beavers defense. High post it'll go. Dari Foster, turn around, 15-footer, misses short off the rim. Rebound on the back side by Tierra Goff. Goff coming the other way for the Lady Beavers. Down the floor, up ahead to Gillens. Gillens going to catch the pass and land out of bounds. So first turnover of the game by the Beavers. Good thought there by the Lady Beavers. <laughs> Jillens knew she was out of bounds looking for Gale, didn't have her. And like you said, first turnover for the Lady Beavers. And in the game now for the Draper APA Eagles is going to be America Chavez. Under four minutes to go in the first quarter. The pass left side to Foster. That's Jocelyn Foster guarded tightly by Goff in the backcourt. Double team comes, lost the handle on it out of bounds, and they're going to say it was touched by Beaver. So Draper basketball. You got to credit uh, Jocelyn Foster with the with the you know she held the ball really well, handled it well, and kept Goff off, and they retained possession of the ball. Timmons will pass it into Chavez, and they're going to be a foul called on Sydney Gillens, who came into her from behind. So the first foul called on Gillens, and the second team foul on the Beavers. Lady Beavers switch from that you know uh, full court trap to a man to man full court press, and uh, Gillens picking up the, her her first foul of the game. 14 0 your score, 3.48 to go in the first quarter here at Desert Hills High School, 2A play in game. Pass will come into Chavez for Draper in the backcourt. Full court press put on by the Beavers. Pass up ahead, and Carly, Carly Hollington with the steal. Pass underneath to Carter. Puts up the shot, blocked out of bounds by Foster. It remains Beaver basketball underneath. That was a great play by Jocelyn Foster. She got the, a, a clean block and uh, was, it, you know, was able to not have the foul. So, great play there by Foster. Gale pass left side to Gillens on the entry pass. Going to miss the eight-footer short off the glass. Rebound Chavez for Draper. She'll get it to Leroy, who goes to Foster. Foster guarded by Goff, able to go cross, cross over dribble around her. Now looks to drive right side, cut off by Carter. She'll pick up her dribble, go down the lane to Dari Foster. Turn around, 12-footer, miss it short off the rim. Gale the rebound on the back side. She's going the other way for the Beavers. Pushing the pace. Looks to drive in, got by Timmons. Pull up, six-footer on the low block. Knocks it down off the glass. Katie Gale with four points. Gale with a great coast-to-coast -coast play there. Got the rebound and just took it down. 
Pass into the uh, front court by Draper, and running it down is going to be Sidney Gillen. So turnover by the Eagles once again. That's their 11th. Carter down the floor, gets it up ahead to Gale. Gale short corner, 10-footer off the back side of the rim, no good. Rebound, Hollingshead taken away by Foster for Draper. And she's pushing the pace the other way down the left side of the floor. Gale able to cut her off, and she'll set up the offense. High post, they go to Dari Foster. Left side, Leroy. Thought about the three, and some comes back out to Jocelyn Foster. Guarded by Goff, she'll go off the screen by Leroy. Picks up her dribble, free throw line extended left side. High post to Foster, overthrew her, picked up by Carter, turnover by Draper. Ritland pushing the pace the other way, up ahead left side to Hollings, that easy lay in on the left side. Great play and great pass there by Britland Carter, picks up the assist and Beavers lead 18-0. 2.28 to go in the first quarter as Jocelyn Foster brings it across the timeline. Beavers dropped out of their press. Foster holding, comes right side high to Timmons. Timmons looks to drive against Carter, got cut off. Show reverse directions, lob high post, knocked away by Hollingshead, but Foster came away with it for Draper. Pass up top to Leroy, tries to go up top to Jocelyn Foster, taken away by Goff, and she's going the other way. Right side left, missed it short, and got her on rebound in the short corner. Picks up her dribble, needs help, kicks it out to Gillens. Gillens right side, back into the corner to Goff. She'll go baseline, got wide open, and makes the layup. She made that second one count, probably the easier one she missed, but she drove baseline, was able to get the, the easy bounces, kissed it off the glass. Up the floor comes Jocelyn Foster now for Draper. She'll dribble right side, gets to the corner, and dribbles off her foot out of bounds. Turnover by Draper will be their 13th, and three new players into the game now for the Beavers. And also another uh, player in for Draper. That's number 13. So Taylor Packer back Packer. into the game for Draper, and into the game now for Beaver in this one. Uh, Taylin Brown, Braley Robinson, and Lindley White back in. Across the timeline comes Tierra Goff. She'll go left side, that'll be two at Braley Robinson. Into the short corner it goes. White gonna drive baseline, got cut off around the horn. She'll go to uh, Hollingshead who knocks down the 16-footer. Carly Hollingshead with four points. That's Hollingshead, she's just fantastic inside and out. It's, it's been so much fun watching her play this year. She's come off the bench for the Lady Beavers and given them the spark they needed so many times. She's phenomenal. 22-0 is the score, Beaver the lead, 118 to go here in the first quarter, the 2A play-in game. Left side high is going to be Foster for Draper. Into the corner it goes to Packer and she threw it behind her as she was cutting, cutting the basket. They're gonna say it was tipped by Beaver, so it'll be Draper basketball in the corner. Taylor Brown coming in and, uh, you know, making some things happen there in the corner as well, the junior. It's been playing some good quality minutes for the Lady Beavers. Foster to inbound, able to get it inside to Chavez, and Chavez is going to be fouled, so she'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be called on Lindley White. That'll be her second and the team's third. You know, Coach John Marshall, he typically has a two-foul uh, rule in the first half. You, you foul twice and you're on the bench, so call it the penalty box. Looks like uh, Nixon Davis will be set to check in for Lindley White. So America Chavez, first free throw off the rim, no good. She'll shoot one more. And Davis into the game for White, as you mentioned. Coming out is going to be Jocelyn Foster for Draper APAs to give her a breather. She's the primary ball handler for this team. So see how they do with her coming out of the game. Second free throw by Chavez, nothing but net. So Draper is on the board. Make it 22 to 1, 107 to go in the first quarter. Up ahead it comes. And trying to find Davis underneath was Goff and overthrew out of bounds. Second turnover by Beaver. Just a little too much mustard on that pass went over Davis's head, so turnover to the Lady Beavers. At the floor comes at Draper APA. That'll be Timmons running the point now. Half court trap put on by Beaver. She'll get it ahead to Dari Foster. Back to Timmons. Timmons able to split the double team. Pull up 17 footer off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound by Hollingshead for the Beavers. 50 seconds to go in the uh, first quarter. Hollingshead works her way right side, passes the low block to Davis, turn around, misses the layup, rebounds on the ground, got her on rebound, put it back up and in. Nixon Davis now with four points. Nothing about padding your stats. You know, just miss the first one, grab an offensive rebound, put it back up. So Davis doing a great job offensively. 33 seconds to go in the quarter. Dari Foster has it near the timeline, lob up ahead to Leroy, pass down the lane to Chavez, knocked away by Davis, picked up by Hollingshead, turnover by Draper is their 14th. Up the floor, Ryan said it goes to Goff. Goff on the wing, 22 seconds to go in the quarter, and Coach Marshall saying play for the final shot. Draper content to just sit back and let the, the time dwindle down, dwindle down until Beaver takes that basket. Goff, yo-yo is on the Thunder logo here at Desert Hills High School. Seven seconds to go, left side, she'll pass it to Robinson. Up top it comes, now right wing to Hollings, head into the corner, back to Goff. She'll take the three, knocks it down, and that'll be how the first quarter comes to an end. 27-1 to is your score. Beaver with the lead over Draper APA as Tierra Goff leads the way with five points at the end of one. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Central Count Channel 10. 
Anytime Road Service and Repair in Beaver is your one-stop shop when it comes to your vehicle. For nearly 30 years, Anytime Road Service has been providing roadside assistance, towing, and automotive repair. When your vehicle is out of commission due to an accident, flat tire, or transmission issues, you can count on Brian and his fleet of 10 trucks and 9 techs to handle any towing or repair anytime. Anytime Road Service and Repair in Beaver offers towing and roadside service at low rates, day or night. Call 435-438-5376. Beaver Valley Chevron and Dairy Queen team up to keep you and your vehicle running smoothly. Beaver Valley Chevron is a 24-hour AAA towing service and repair facility with top quality Chevron gas. You'll also appreciate their newly remodeled modern restrooms and eager Beaver Touchless Car Wash that offers the newest in car wash technology. And of course, stop in Dairy Queen anytime for a variety of meal deals and irresistible ice cream treats. Visit Beaver Valley Chevron and Dairy Queen at the I-15 South exit in Beaver. And welcome back here to Desert Hills High School. Robert Lovell with you alongside Pepper Gale. At the end of the first quarter, it is all Beaver in this one. 27-1, your score. Beaver leads Draper American Preparatory Academy and Beaver basketball to start this second quarter. Right side on the wing, TV Gale has it. She'll go up top to Carter. High post, try to get it to White. Knocked away and picked up by Draper APA. The third turnover now by Beaver. Jocelyn Foster has it near the timeline for Draper. She'll come across the timeline. And Tavia Gale trying to pick the pocket, knocks the ball loose. It's going to be picked up by Gillins. Gillins live up ahead, left side to Carter, and misses the layup. On the rebound is Lindley White. She'll go back up too hard off the glass and rebound by Draper. And then on the rebound, it was taken away by Carter. Carter coming the other way. Pass up ahead to Gale, and off her hand, out of bounds will go. As a little bit offline to Gale, so it'll be Draper basketball. Lady Beaver struggling just a little bit to get uh, something going in and uh, get, get something in, in rhythm and sync and uh, not what you want to see in a, in a state tournament game. And nearly another steal, and it will be another steal as Brentland Carter knocks it away from Foster and eventually came up with it. So Carter up ahead, left side of Gillins, wide open layup is good. It's Sydney Gillins now with a game high six. Just fundamental basketball there, great pass from Carter into Gillins. And now Carter, another steal as he jumps the passing lane, and she'll lay it in left side. Yeah. Britland Carter now with six. 31 to one, your score, 6.55 to go here in the first half of this 2A play-in game. Now Beavers dropped out of the press again. Jocelyn Foster up top, picks up her dribble, needs help, and she'll come high left side to Dari Foster. 6.45 to go in the first half. 30-point lead for Beaver. Dari Foster, yo-yos near the timeline, lobs hop high post to Leroy, back left side to Foster, she'll launch the three off the back, but no good, Davis three bound for the Beavers. Carter coming the other way now for Beaver, gets it across the timeline, pass left side to Jillens, Jillens on the wing, 15 footer, in and out, rebound is gonna be by White, White underneath, looks to cross under and she'll take an extra step, traveling is the call, fifth turnover by Beaver. You don't even know where White comes from sometimes, but she just skied up there and pulled the, bo pulled the board down, unfortunately getting the turnover, but doing a great job on the boards. And into the game now for Draper will be Kelly Burns back in. Up the floor comes Leroy, left side it'll come. Three-pointer by Jocelyn Foster, air ball, and rebound is battled for underneath, and it'll go out of bounds. Last touch by Beaver, so Draper basketball underneath. Beaver looks like they're dropping back into a zone and uh, looking to get some practice on a zone in this, in this game if they need to use it later on in the state tournament. Foster to inbound, that's Jocelyn Foster. Looking in the lane, nothing there. Lob out to, to Leroy, off her, threw her hands off her head, picked up by Dixon Davis for the Beavers. Come the other way now as Carter up ahead, left side to White, put it up off the glass, missed it short. Got her own rebound, goes back up on a foul call. She'll go to the line to shoot two. And again, you know, the thing about Lindley White is that she never gives up. She missed the easy layup, but she pulled her board down, went back up with it, and was able to draw a foul, which is what she needs to do. Um, just a great offensive play there by, by White. Foul's called on Ava Mueller. Mueller. That'll be her first and the team's third for Draper. First free throw is good from White. She's got three points. 32 to one is your score. Beaver with the lead over Draper APA. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Second free throw from White and off the back of the rim, no good. High rebound, it'll be Gillins that has it. Looks to drive left, nothing there. She'll come out to Gale. Kind of split up between Gale and Carter. Gale able to get a hand on it and save it before going out of bounds. Now right short corner to Davis. She'll drive baseline, misses the layup. Got her rebound on the other side and lays it in. Nixon Davis with six. I think that's the second time or third time where she's missed the layup, pulled her own rebound down and got it again. So Nixon Davis again doing great underneath. Foster is going to drive up and take the straightaway three off the rim. No good. Carter, the rebound for Beaver. She's looking to go the other way. Gets it across the timeline. Going to drive right, pass left. Nice handoff to Gillins, who lays it in. Sydney Gillins with a team high eight. Gillins. 
Saw Jillensville in the left lane, Gale fill in the right, and uh, just, you know, you can't take a better shot than that. Across the timeline comes Leroy, high left side of Foster, and nearly taken away by Gale, but Gale came in with the body, so foul on Tavia will be her first and the fourth team foul on Beaver. And it looks like uh, there's going to be five substitutions coming in the game for the Lady Beavers, along with one for uh, West Valley. So uh, Timmons comes in for American Preparatory Academy on the floor now for the Beavers. We will have Brooklyn Crum along with Tierra Goff, Rayleigh Robinson, and Carly Hollings headed in the game, and also back in Taylor Brown. Pass in, and they were looking for Shelly Balthazar, but she cut the other way. The ball went the opposite direction, out of bounds, so turnover by Draper. There's a little miscommunication there by Draper, and the Lady Beavers will retain possession. Taylor Packer back into the game for Draper. Coming out is going to be Kelly Burns. The leading scorer for Draper has not played in this game. That's Rachel Maxfield, averaging over five points per game for the Eagles. Left side, Robinson has it for Beaver. She'll pick it up, come right side to Crum. Crum one dribble, hands off to Hollingshead in the short corner. Skip pass left side to Goff. Goff thought about the three, instead comes back out to Hollingshead. Hollingshead right side, gets bumped, passes back out to Goff. Goff going to drive the lane, puts up the runner. Off the rim, no good. Rebound by Hollingshead. She'll go back up off the side of the backboard, no good. And the rebound taken by Mueller for Draper APA, but knocked away and picked up by Crum for Beaver. Right side will go on the wing to Hollingshead, back out. Long two by Crum, off the back side of the rim, no good. Rebound Robinson on the other side. She'll dribble out into the corner, guarded tightly, and she'll come out to Goff as they reset the offense. Left side to Robinson, she'll take the college three, short off the rim. Rebound Hollingshead, one dribble. She'll go back up on the right side as she fades away, misses it short. Rebound can to be taken by the Beavers again by Crum. Back to Hollingshead, tries to pass across the lane, knocked away by Foster, but picked up near the timeline by Tierra Goff. Again, they reset. Left side Robinson. Robinson one dribble, comes back to Goff. Goff goes to the right wing. Down the lane, it goes to Hollingshead, being double teamed. She'll skip past left side to Robinson, over through her, out of bounds. Turnover by Beaver will be their sixth. Lady Beaver doing well there, you know, patiently trying to get something to happen. Unfortunately, not able to capitalize, but I think it just shows the discipline that the Lady Beavers have offensively um, when, they, when it comes to uh, trying to get a, a good shot um, on their side of the floor. 4.08 to go in the first half. 36 to 1 is your score. Beaver the 35 point lead over Draper American Preparatory Academy. Timmons works her way right side, guarded by Crum, works it to the wing, and tries to pass in the corner. Tipped away by Crum, picked up by Hollingshead. Another turnover by Draper. That's their 20th. Up the floor comes Carly. She'll skip it left side to Robinson. She'll take the long two with her feet on the line. In and out. Rebound by Packer for Draper, and she'll get it to Timmons. Great position there as Packer just. Pulls, the, pulls it down, and uh, Timmons looking like they're trying to get something going here offensively. Timmons high right side, guarded by Crum, goes off the screen by Leroy, now goes back to Leroy, and Leroy tries to come back to Timmons, off her leg into the backcourt, over Mack is the call by Draper. That'll be their 21st turnover. A lot of pressure in the backcourt there by the Lady Beavers as Draper's unable to get it you know, anywhere close to the three-point line, so great defense, great defense there by the Beavers. Tierra Goff has it near the uh, Thunder logo at half court for Beaver. Left side to Robinson. Robinson looks to drive. Nothing there. She'll come back out left elbow. And uh, Taylor Brown kicks it right. Said to Crump. Fake left. Going to go right. Got baseline. Puts up the runner. In and out. Rebound. Knocked around and picked up eventually by Leroy for Draper. Dari Foster will bring it across the timeline for APA. Picks up her dribble. Needs help as Taylor Brown closes on her tight. And got away at the double dribble. Official just says we'll let it go. Tries to dribble into the corner and locked, knocked it of bounds by Beaver. Draper basketball underneath. Yeah, I don't think they're going to expect to see a whole lot now with the score of 36 to 1. <laughs> yeah. Inbounding underneath will be Mueller for Draper. You got four stacked on the right side of the lane. Goes right side. Well, threw it between everybody, but Timmons runs it down near the, near the sideline and going to drive in against Crum. Pulls up on the right elbow, passes across the lane to Mueller. Ball got tipped away, picked up by Hollingshead. She's coming the other way for Beaver. Gonna dribble right side, pass up ahead, left side to Brown. Brown has it lost out of bounds. Turnover by Beaver will be their seventh. Pass a little bit too far in front. It was, and just, uh, West Valley, excuse me, Draper, uh, substituting freely as number 20, checks in the game for uh, Draper. Jocelyn Foster back into the game for the Eagles. It'll be uh, Abby Leroy that brings it across the timeline. Picked up in the zone by Beaver, right side high to Foster. That's Jocelyn out to Dari Foster. Couple of dribbles back to Jocelyn. Skip pass left side to Leroy. Over through her out of bounds. Turnover by Draper will be there 22nd. You can see that this, you know, the, the inexperience of Draper, but they're they're trying to do the right things. You know, they're looking for the right things and, and trying to uh, 
you know, just be defensive, or excuse me, offensively minded. So um, I think it's a good thing for the for their squad to know that they're looking for the right things. Brooklyn Crumb for the long two of their toes on the line, knocks it down. And Crumb with her first bucket off the bench for the Beavers makes it now 38 to 1, 2.13 to go in the first half. Crumb's been great as a, as a sophomore coming off the bench in some of these games. She's a fantastic shooter. Pass to Leroy, gets tipped by Goff. Last touch by Leroy, out of bounds. Turnover by Drapers, their 23rd. And five new players coming into the game for the Beavers. As a checking in, we'll have Tasia Marshall. Tierra, not, not five, looks like just, now it will be five. So it just took a minute for everyone to realize that they needed to leave. So, well, four <laughs> players. So Brooklyn Crumb going to stay into the game. Tasia Marshall into the game. Emery Robinson, a freshman, into the game. Also checking in Jordan Hoyt, Jordan Hoyt another freshman. And Casey Erickson, or Case? Casey. Casey. Casey Erickson. Right side, it'll be Robinson. Skip pass left side to Erickson. Going to get in the lane. Try to pass right side back out to Robinson. She'll take the three. Short off the rim. Long rebound. Robinson runs it down at the top of the key. And she'll reverse direction. Go right side to Hoyt. Hoyt looks to dribble in, gets cut off in the low block, passes it inside, turnaround shot, off the glass, no good by Marshall, and rebound by Draper, Jocelyn Foster. 133 to go in the first half, 37 point lead for the Beavers, 38-1 is your score. On the Fender logo is Foster, she'll pass right elbow, turnaround, long shot by, the, by Draper, that was going to be, that was Kelly Burns, and she'll airball it out of bounds, so turnover, or not turnover, but Beaver basketball at the length before to go. It's great for the Lady Beavers that they're able to uh, get, you know, go deep into their bench and get these younger players some varsity experience. Pass will come left side to Erickson. Erickson on the wing, free throw line extended, goes left elbow. That'll be to Hoyt. Hoyt goes back out to Erickson. Erickson gets in the lane, pass right side to Robinson. Robinson pass comes up top to Crumb. Crumb one dribble goes to the short corner. Driving baseline now is Hoyt. She'll pull up, six footer, misses it short. Rebound tipped up, and Leroy has it for Draper. A minute to go in the half. And 38 to 1 is your score. Beaver the 37 point lead. Dari Foster has it for the Eagles. She picks up her dribble. Coming out on her tight is Robinson. Tries to pass high post. Knocked away from behind by Crumb. She's going the other way for Beaver. Fast break right side layup. Missed it short. Rebound Foster for Draper. Great play there by Brooklyn Crumb with the steal. Go coast to coast. The ball just, just couldn't fall through the net, but a great, great play there by the sophomore. Left wing is going to be Jocelyn Foster. Turn around and she backs in Crum and knocks down the 15-footer. Foster with the first field goal for Draper, and it's good for them to get a bucket on the boards here before the half ends. Snaps a 16-0 run by the Lady Beavers. 15 seconds to go in the half. Crum will play for the final shot for Beavers. She yo-yos on the Thunder logo. 10 seconds to go in the half. She'll pass high left side. To Erickson, Erickson a couple of dribbles, come up top to Marshall, swing it right side to Robinson and kind of split two Beaver players out of bounds and goes. Turnover by Beaver will be their eighth and there'll be trade for basketball, two seconds to go in the half. Definitely not what Coach Marshall wants to see that, that there at the end, but uh, now Draper with the chance to score. Foster just gonna throw it the length of the floor and it's gonna fall short at the end of the first half. It is a Beaver 38, Draper APA three. And this is the two-way play-in game here at Desert Hills High School. We'll take the break and come back with the Jones and the Mill Engineering Halftime Show next on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. Your Carl's Jr. and Beaver and Fillmore not only specializes in delicious charbroiled burgers, they're heavily involved in supporting local area events. The owners and management care about the community and have lent their support to the PTA Walkathon, library reading and local schools programs, the National ATV Jamboree Swim Fest, they've raised over $11,000 in juvenile diabetes research, and they're currently raising money to support our troops in their Stars for Heroes program. Your local Carl's Jr. and Beaver and Fillmore, not just a local burger joint, a contributor to your community. For experienced help when buying or selling real estate, Coldwell Banker Advantage of Beaver is a wise choice. Local real estate broker Gary Brown can assist you in residential, commercial, or recreational properties. Call Coldwell Banker Advantage Realty in Beaver, 438-7777. Majestic Financial Services in Beaver is an accounting firm that offers payroll, income tax preparation, and bookkeeping services for individuals and businesses. For an accounting firm you can trust, call Majestic Financial Services in Beaver, 438-7777. Beaver Valley Hospital continues to offer high-quality health care at the state's lowest price. Beaver Valley Hospital has state-of-the-art laboratory and radiology services, including cutting-edge X-ray and 3D ultrasound. The hospital also provides expanded surgical procedures for orthopedics and laparoscopic hysterectomy. Remodeled patient rooms and long-term care facilities combine with compassionate staff to provide our patients a comfortable and healing environment. Beaver Valley Hospital is a proud community supporter and is pleased to sponsor Beaver High School. 
Dairy Farmers of America is a proud supporter of Beaver High School. For the very best at cheese products direct from the factory, visit the chalet at DFA Cache Valley Cheese in Beaver. They carry a nice selection of cheese, including fresh curd, cheddar, Monterey Jack, Swiss, and Colby. Stop in and check out their wide variety of cheese gift boxes and crafts, too. And they offer shipping. Visit their website at dfamilk.com and click on DFA Mart and then on the picture of the Beaver store. That's DFA Cash Valley Cheese in Beaver. For gas snacks and dependable service on your car or truck, visit Eagles Landing, Flying J, and High Country Chevron in Beaver. Mark Yardley and the staff offer convenience items, groceries, fountain drinks, sandwiches, and other goodies. You'll also find a full line of gifts and souvenirs, as well as your favorite gas and oil products. Stop by both locations at the North I-15 Interchange in Beaver, High Country Chevron, and Eagles Landing Flying J, happy to support Beaver High School sports. For integrity, honesty, and technical expertise, think of Jones & DeMille Engineering. With offices in Richfield, Roosevelt, Price, Manti, Utah Valley, St. George, and Monticello, they're committed to providing their clients with civil and structural engineering, construction management, funding procurement, surveying, GIS mapping, and material testing. They use state-of-the-art equipment to help you meet your budgets, deadlines, and schedules. Visit jonesanddemille.com or find them on Facebook. Since 1982, Jones & DeMille Engineering, your infrastructure professional shaping the quality of life. And welcome back here to Desert Hills High School. Robert Lovell with you alongside Pepper Gale. And this is the Jones and Emil Engineering Halftime Show. Champions are propelled by dedication, teamwork, commitment, vision, and a desire to be their best. Jones and Emil Engineering, your local award-winning engineering firm. And at the half, it is all Beaver in this one in the 2A girls basketball playing game. First game of the day, the Lady Beavers lead the Lady Eagles of Draper American Preparatory Academy 38-3. to That is your halftime score. And Pepper, what's your takeaway from this first half? You know, you look at the score and you think, oh, wow, Beavers is playing incredible. And, you know, they are playing well. But the one thing the Lady Beavers have struggled with, you know, most of the season is shooting percentage. And that's actually, you know, they're shooting 37% this game. Still, that that's not great, but that's better than what they've been shooting usually um, throughout the season. So still, you know, a game like this where they've missed a lot of layups, looking at the shot chart, most of their shots have been missed inside the paint. And, you know, shooting 37%, th- um, that's something that the Lady Beers have worked on. They're going to want to continue working on, but uh, they're doing they're doing doing really well at getting some of those really easy shots. Those you know five five foot shots out um, um, out there um, offensively, and they're just killing it as far as steals and uh, turnovers go. Yeah, and we'll look at those stats here in just a moment. But uh, you you mentioned there late in that uh, first half talking about Draper APA that. Uh, we know this it wasn't going to be a team that was really going to give Beaver much of a game today. We just knew that based off of what we've seen throughout the season. Beaver, one of the top two or three teams in the 2A classification, while Draper's not going to, obviously not there. But uh, you, we talked about the fact in the pregame show that they have seven players that never played before this year, never played any basketball before this year. They started practicing on a soccer field to begin the season because they didn't have a basketball court yet. So the first time on a court was their first game. And so obviously they had some challenges to overcome here. And, you know, we've got to give some, some credit to Coach Tracy Webb of the Lady Eagles here. As you can tell, as you mentioned, they've been trying to do the right things or trying to, to do some of those fundamental things to, to build a program. They have, and, and you could see it. You could see it um, defensively and offensively. They're they're looking in the right places. They're trying to, you know, protect the ball when they dribble it, and they are crashing the boards. Um, and it's 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 really difficult when you've got a, a group of girls who've been playing since they were probably in the second grade, as opposed to girls who this is their first second year playing ball. And you know, just talking to. <clears throat> To the coach for Draper, you know, she played college ball, she mentioned to me, and she said this has been really good for her in that she had to go back to, you know, why why did she love the game? What made her want to play the game? And she said that's been the best thing for her this year is to teach these girls her love for the game and make them love the game. And she said you do that by the fundamentals. You do that by teaching them this is, this is why basketball is fun. And uh, them coming in the playoffs this first year, uh, their first year as a squad and making the playoffs even if you get beat that's a huge accomplishment and hopefully you know that this is a this is a building year for something really good to come for draper apa let's take a look at the first half stats now here in the jones and emil engineering halftime show so pepper take it away let's start with 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 draper um you know draper only shooting 11 shots that that first half you know they, they're they're 50 from the free throw line one for three american chavez has that they have 11 rebounds and they do have a steal, a block, and uh, un- unfortunately for them, they have 25 turnovers, but the press that the Beavers have put on them pretty tenacious, and so that's kind of to be expected. 
I'm looking for the Lady Beavers. They're just they're they're playing a, a very well-rounded game. You know, 33 points, like I mentioned, shooting 33% um, from the field. No free throws yet in this game for. Oh no, they're, they're, they're one, one for three, three. One, one for three. three, so 33%. So that that's not very good, you know, as far as free throw percentage go. But offensively, they got they've gotten several several uh, second, third attempt shots with 20 offensive rebounds, seven defensive rebounds, 16 steals. I mean, that that's just great basketball there for the Lady Beavers. Yeah, Sydney Gillen's leading the way here at the half with eight points, six apiece from Britland Carter and Nixon Davis, then five from Tierra Goff, four from Tavy Gale and Carly Hollingshead, three from Lily White, and two from Brooklyn Crumb so far for the Beavers. So there's your first half stats. And once again at the half, it is Beaver 38 and Draper APA 3 here in the 2A play-in games. We'll take a break and come back with the second half next on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. Mike's Food Town in Beaver is proud to serve Beaver County with a wide selection of items at competitive prices. Mike's Food Town is your friendly hometown grocer with the choicest cuts of meat prepared daily. They also go the extra mile to offer the freshest produce on a daily basis. Stop by Mike's Food Town and you'll find out about the super savings in every department. That's Mike's Food Town located at 270 North Main in Beaver. Happy to support Beaver High School's athletic and academic programs. That's Mike's Food Town. North Creek Family Dental features an amazing staff that provides quality dental service you've come to love. Dentists Boyd Bandy and David Howard, Shani, Shawnee, Stacy, JC, and Jody make dental visits almost like going to Disneyland. Well, almost. Whether you need oral cleanings, checkups, dental emergency care, fillings, or crowns, North Creek Family Dental is there for you. They even offer dentures, dental implants, and 24-hour emergency care. North Creek Family Dental is accepting new patients, so call 435-438. 2931. Service is important on any insurance policy, whether it's auto, home, life, or health insurance. And you can count on your Beaver area good neighbor State Farm agent, Brent Stapley, to give you the best service possible. Whether you have a claim or just need information about insurance, your State Farm agent is there with the good neighbor service we're famous for. See State Farm agent Brent Stapley and Beaver for all your insurance needs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call 438-5451, 438-5451. When you're in the mood for mouth-watering dishes prepared by the finest chefs in Utah, visit Timberline Inn in Beaver. For a family dinner outing or for a night out with that special someone, experience fine dining for breakfast, lunch, or dinner at Timberline Inn. Timberline also offers catering services for both small groups or large gatherings, and you can't beat their popular lunch and dinner specials offered daily. Timberline Inn is open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and located on the South I-15 Interchange in Beaver. Call for catering 438-2474. The Beaver Medical Clinic has built a reputation of providing compassionate health care for residents of Beaver and Iron Counties. You'll appreciate the professional services of Drs. B. Noel Robinson, Roger Smith, Wade Oakton, Lance Smith, Physician's Assistants Reagan Fales, Travis Hicks, and Kenneth Hussey, and Nurse Practitioners Robin Horton, Lindsay Cheney, Rebecca Rasmussen, and Wade Hollingshead. The Beaver Medical Clinic offers affordable health care and convenient payment options with offices in Beaver, Milford, and Parowan. We offer quick service on your loan request. We make our loan decisions right here at the bank. You don't have to wait for an answer from some out-of-town loan committee. It's one of the advantages of banking with hometown people. You're independent, so are we. Utah Independent Bank, member FDIC. Hometown people, hometown spirit. And for the second half, we go here at Desert Hills High School, the 2A play-in games with the Beaver Lady Beavers leading at Draper American Preparatory Academy 38-3 here in the first round of the, the play-in games. And as we go into the second half, Pepper, what do you expect to see out of, out of Beaver in this one? I expect to see... Uh the starters not playing a whole lot this this uh, this half. I expect to see Coach Marshall letting his uh, other players come in and get some you know tournament experience. Um, I I would expect to see you know like we talked about the Draper just continues to try to, to, to Draper continuing trying to do the things that they they know are fundamentally correct and just try to get some buckets on the board. So 38 to three once again is your halftime score. Coming up on our next game here at the Desert Hills High School at the 2A play-in games, we'll have the Rowan Hall against Altamont. That'll be a 1040 tip-off, and you'll be able to catch the game on the TV side, local10.tv. And Draper APA basketball to start the ball with the second half. 
38 to three, they trail. Starters are on the floor for both of these teams. And Jocelyn Foster will bring it across the timeline for Draper APA. Pass ahead left side to Leroy. Leroy got the ball knocked loose by Tavy Gale. She dives for it in the corner, does Gale. And they're gonna call it traveling as she say she say she slid after catching the basketball. So turnover by Beaver. Yeah, she slid a few feet, so great call, but great hustle there by the Pink Panther. 7.47 to go in this third quarter, and they are running the clock now. Pass will come in out to uh, Packer for the Eagles. Pass left side to Foster. Turn around on the one dribble. Put it up too hard. Air ball. Rebound going to be taken by Carter. Carter for the Beavers pushing the pace the other way. She dribbles around Dari Foster. Going to drive in. Kick it right. Said to Gale. Left open. She'll take the 17-footer around the rim and drops it in. Davey Gale with six. Pretty shot there by Gale. She looked inside for Davis, but then realized, hey, I'm open. I might as well take a shot and uh, get the first points of the half. Pass will come up ahead, left side to Baltazar. Stolen away by Carter. Down the floor she goes to Gillens. Gillens, right side, put it up too hard. Rebound by White on the backside. Lindley will come back around and reset the offense with a pass to Carter. Back to White on the low block. Turn around, six footer around the rim and drops it in. Lindley White now with five points. White just has an opportunity on the baseline. Doesn't use the glass, but the ball rims around. Knocks it down for her fifth point of the game. Across the timeline comes Foster. She'll pass ahead, right side through the hands of Baltazar. Out of bounds it goes. Turnover by Draper. Lady Beaver's coming out in a 2-3 zone. I think this is the first time I've seen Beaver play a zone all season long, but this is a great opportunity for them to, to practice that because you never know, you might need that um, for a, a game later on in the tournament. Right side, Gail has it. She'll work her way to the top of the key and hand off left side to Gillens. Just kind of playing the weave up top with Gillens, Carter, and Gail. Now they're going to reset the offense, change things up as Carter works her way to the high left side. Goes off the double screen. Get a dribble right side. Kick it into the corner to Gillens. Open for three. Short off the rim. Long rebound back to Gillens. She'll drive in, put up the eight-footer, knocks it down. Sydney Gillens now with a game-high 10. You don't see Gillens shooting a lot from outside, at least that far. You see her taking a lot of 10-foot shots, but nothing around the three-point line. So nice to see her getting some experience shooting out there. 44-3 to three is your score. Now Tavy Gale just going to tie up Baltazar. Jump ball, possession arrow favors Beaver. So turnover by Draper will be there 28th. Baltazar going to check out of the game as Zoe Timmons back in for the Eagles. 6.01 to go in this third quarter. 44-3 to three is your score. I was watching the clock to see if it was going to run. I thought you had mentioned that, but... They, they kept it running earlier. It's Maybe they a mistake, forgot. apparently. <laughs> Grimley Carter goes right to the Gillens. Free throw on extended. Couldn't quite catch it, so she corrals it near the sideline. Works her way back to the wing, into the corner to Carter. She'll launch the three. High arch. Round the rim, no good. Rebound, Lindley White. Lost her footing as she came down. And on the backside, Davis had the rebound. She'll miss the shot. And then a tie-up on the rebound. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors Draper. And that's one of those moments where the way Lindley fell, if you're Coach Marsh, you're like, oh, no, we just got an injury in a 41-point game. Yeah, you know, we saw that last year with, with North Summit, and how unfortunate was that when Hunter Vernon, you know, blew out her knee in, in that playing game. And that was, just, that, was, that was just so devastating for North Summit. You hate to see anybody get hurt in the playoffs. Five new players in for the Beavers as Tierra Goff, Taylor Brown, Braley Robinson, Nixon Davis, and Brooklyn Crum check into the game. Left side, Leroy has it for Draper. Give and go back to Foster. 15-footer off the glass. No good. Didn't draw iron. Rebound by Crum. She'll go to Hollingshead. And Hollingshead going to bring it the other way for the Beavers. 5.07 to go in the third quarter. She'll slow as she crosses the timeline and goes up top to Goff. Goff will go right side to Crum. Crum on the wing, one dribble, looking high post, nothing there, comes back to Goff. Swing it left side to Robinson, pump fake on the three, going to drive in, got cut off in the baseline by Foster, kicks it back out to Brown, up top to Goff. Goff holding, now goes right wing to Crum, Crum into the short corner to Hollingshead. Hollingshead picked up by Foster, dribbles it off of Foster's foot, out of bounds, Beaver basketball underneath. Saw a grin on Hollingshead's face, I think she thought she dribbled it off her own foot, but uh, just shrugs it off, says, yeah, I my mistake, but uh, no, no harm, no fouls. Beaver has the ball. Crumble pass in, right into Robinson, off the glass and in. Braley Robinson with her first bucket of the game. Right. Lady Beaver's been very effective in, with their inbounds plays this season and getting this, those short three-foot shots, and Robinson gets her first points of the game on an inbounds play. Pass will go to Leroy, off her hand, out of bounds. Turnover by Draper will be there 29th. And Beaver basketball out of the game comes Dari Foster, into the game Taylor Packer. Across the timeline comes Tierra Goff for Beaver. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Right wing, it'll go to Crum. Right elbow, she'll pass to Hollingshead. Skip pass left side. Robinson for three. Nothing but net. Braley Robinson with back-to-back -back budget. She's got five off the bench. 49-3 to three is your score. Beaver's in front. If you, if uh, Braley Robinson gets a hot hand, watch out. She can knock down, you know, threes that'll make Fredette, like, be jealous. So <laughs> she, she can shoot. 
Right side is going to be Timmons. Up top, she comes to Foster. Skip pass left side to Leroy. Leroy picked up in the zone, tries to pass out, knocked away by Goff, and Goff comes up with a steal. Passes down the floor to Crum. Crum dribbles it off the leg of Timmons. Out of bounds, it'll go. They're going to say it touched Beaver last, so Draper basketball. I think you had the call right. I think it went off of her foot, but, uh, you know, with the score 49-3, to three, they're, they're not going to – they're going to give the benefit of the doubt to, the, to Draper. Foster goes right instead of head to Timmons. Timmons on the wing, guarded by Crum, looks to dribble into the corner, cut off defensively with the help defense by Brown, and now Brown going to tire up, jump ball, possession arrow favors Draper. And now the officials say now it should be Beaver this time, so they will give it to Beaver. So turnover by Draper. Ava Mueller, Ava Mueller checking in the game for Abby, Abby something. Abby Leroy. Leroy. Up the floor comes at Tierra Goff for Beaver. She'll hand off right side high to Crum. Again, playing the weave up top as she goes to Robinson. Robinson holding on the volleyball line, hands off back up top to Goff. Goff on the Thunder logo, goes right side to Robinson, near the short corner to Hollingshead. Nothing in the lane, one dribble, skip pass left side, and Crum for the 17-footer, in and out, rebound, long rebound, taken by Jocelyn Foster for Draper. She's going the other way for the Eagles. Right side down the floor, she'll slow as she crosses the timeline. Picked up on the wing by Crum. Up top, she'll go to Timmons, off her hands, and Goff coming the other way for the Beavers. Going to drive right side against Timmons, put it up off the glass, missed it short. Rebound underneath, taken by Beaver. That'll be Robinson. She'll miss the five-footer on the baseline. Rebounds on the floor, and Robinson dives for it, hands it off to Crum, out to the wing to Goff. She'll launch the three. Nothing but net. Tierra Goff with a triple. She's got eight. And that's, you know, Tierra Goff, too. I talked about Braley Robinson earlier, but Tierra Goff, she has come in in some key games. One I remember most is Enterprise in Enterprise. That game went into overtime. I believe Tierra had 18 points. She was just deadly from outside. Fantastic shooter. 52-3 to three is your score. 147 to go in the third. 15-footer taken by America Chavez up from the free throw line. Off the glass, didn't draw iron. Rebound Beaver. Come the other way is Taylor Brown. She'll pick up her dribble and come up top to Goff. Right side, they'll go on the wing at 15 or 17 footer by Crum. It misses off the back of the rim. Rebound Goff. Right side back to Crum. Looking for Holling. Said couldn't get it to her. Skip pass left side to Robinson. Robinson pump fake on the three. Dribbles in. Pull up 14 footer off the glass. No good. Rebound tipped up and knocked it to bounds. Last touch by Holling. Said it'll be Draper basketball. Great hustle by the senior. She never gives up. She could have easily just watched that ball go out of bounds, but she chose not to. And uh, still, turnover for the Beavers. Baltazar back into the game along with Taylor Packer for the, or two, McKelly Burns back into the game for Draper. Across the timeline comes Jocelyn Foster for the Eagles. Works her way right side and hands to Chavez. Lobbed down the lane, knocked away and taken away by Hollingshead. Down the floor she goes to Goff. Goff all by herself. Fast break layup is good. Tierra Goff now ties for a game high, 10 points. And Goff, I believe Jillen's also with 10 points. So two girls in double figures and a whole bunch of others with contributing two or more. Right side, it goes to Chavez. Backdoor pass can be taken away by Hollingshead. Another turnover by Draper. Coming the other way is Beaver. Lob up ahead, right side to Goff. And Goff now you're, oh, misses that one short. Rebound going to be taken by Mueller. Pass it out, and that coming the other way will be Burns for Draper. She'll go to Foster, picked up by Goff in the zone. So hand off to Balthazar. Balthazar works her way left side, now guarded by Goff. Goes left elbow. And turning around, it, giving it to Foster. Foster for the three. Partially blocked out of bounds. It'll go. And they're not going to say it was partially blocked. So this will be Beaver basketball on the air ball. Another substitution in the game for Draper. America Chavez comes out, and she is replaced by number 11, Dariana Foster. Across the timeline comes Goff. Right side to Crum. She'll launch the three. Misses that one short. Rebound tipped up, and Foster has it up the buzzer. So the end of three, it is Beaver 54 and Draper APA 3. And we'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. If you're looking for quality insurance from an agent with a personal touch, call White Insurance in Beaver and Parowan. Joe and Ryan White have over 30 years of experience in the insurance business and understand the needs of local residents and businesses. White Insurance is an independent company which allows them to shop around for the best rates in order to save you money on auto, home, life, health, and business insurance for any size company. Give White Insurance a call today for service with a personal touch. 438-5445. That's 438-5445. 
Since 1947, Barney Trucking in Salina has built a reputation of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction in the trucking industry. Barney Trucking in Salina is now hiring local drivers. If you're looking for a solid career in the trucking industry that has a positive working environment, join the big blue trucks of Barney Trucking. The job includes benefits, training, retirement, and requires a Class A CDL license and an endorsement for doubles and triples. To apply, go to BarneyTrucking.com or call 529-4422. That's 529-4422. To the fourth quarter we go here at Desert Hills High School in the first 2A play-in game, the girls' basketball tournament. It is Beaver leading Draper APA 54-3. Robert Lovell with you alongside Pepper Gale. Left side, Chavez has it blocked on the shot as Beaver has once again emptied their bench as they've brought in mostly freshmen now at this point, and blocking that shot was Emery Robinson. So Robinson, she'll pick up still there as it was tied up and possession goes back to Beaver. So across the timeline it comes Crum. She'll go right side to Robinson. One dribble, kick it into the corner. And Jordan Hoyt has it. She looks to drive baseline, got cut off, able to pass it out to Marshall. Marshall goes back out to Robinson. Robinson drives lane, got stripped, and Chavez has it. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors Draper APA. Good hustle there by America Chavez. Uh, she, you know, was in the right place at the right time, fought for the ball, was able to get the turnover. Foster will bring it up the floor now for Draper. Beaver back in a 2-3 zone. 7.05 to go in the game, 54 to three-year score. Pass left side to Chavez, out to Foster. Foster on the wing, gonna dribble in, pull up, 17-footer, hard off the glass, didn't draw iron, rebound to the backside by the Beavers. That was Tasia Marshall. Down the floor, Crum gets it ahead to Robinson. Robinson drives in, pull up, 10-footer, misses it short, partially blocked, and on the rebound was Hoyt. Hoyt misses the put back, got rebound again by Robinson, back out to Hoyt, 15-footer, misses that one short, and Rachel Maxwell down the rebound for Draper APA. She'll pass it out to Foster. First time we've seen Maxwell in the game for Draper. Again, she comes in as the leading scorer. Right side, she has it. 17-footer, knocks it down. Rachel Maxfield with the first bucket of the second half for Draper. She makes her presence known very quickly, and, you know, like you said, gets a bucket, so good to see Maxfield in the game. Left side for Beaver, it'll be Casey Erickson, and going to be a, a rough official timeout time call. I'm not sure what happened here. not sure. I think they're saying something happened to Casey Erickson. She was grabbing her face, so they called a... Timeout, maybe thinks she got something in her eye. Every timeout, anyway. contact, something maybe, not sure. She doesn't want to come out. She tells Coach Marshall, I'm okay. The official made her go look, go talk to the coach, but able to come back in. Five new players in the game now for Draper as they switch everybody out. They've got just the 10. They do have one injured here this weekend. Inbounding it. On the left side is Casey Erickson. She'll come into the corner to Robinson. Skip pass right side. Ball gets tipped by Timmons and able to run it down as Marshall. She'll come out to Crum. Crum comes back left side to Erickson. Erickson goes to Robinson. Robinson on the wing. Good dribble middle. Come up top to Crum. Crum goes right side to Hoyt. Hoyt faking the pass. Now looks to shoot. Going to drive in against the defense. Pass in the lane. Knocked away and picked up by Mueller. Jump ball is the call. Possession arrow favors Beaver. You can see that Draper's picked up the intensity defensively this half. They're, the zone is moving a lot more quickly. They're, you know, they're blocking the passing lanes. They're blocking, you know, they're cutting drive, uh, drives off. So they're doing really well defensively. Pass down the lane, knocked away, and a foul going to be called as Erickson came up with it, and she's going to go to the line to shoot two. The foul will be called on number 44 there for... They don't have a 44. 44. <laughs> That's the number they showed, but they don't have one, so... And now the coach uh, Webb for Draper are going to say that was the wrong, wrong person. They're going to give it to 11, I believe, Dari Foster. So that'll be her first team's first this half. Taylor Brown also checking in the game for the Lady Beavers, replacing Brooklyn Crum. First free throw by Erickson was off the mark. Second one is off the glass and in, so she makes one of two. It does Casey Erickson. She's got her first point, 55 to 5, 50 point Beaver lead. Zoe Timmons will bring it up the floor for the Eagles. Picked up in the zone by Beaver. Left side of her go. Leroy for the long two. Misses it short. Foster with the rebound and throws it back out to Leroy. Up top it'll come at two Timmons. Timmons looks to dribble right side. Got cut off. Picks it up and hands off to Foster. Foster lobs it right elbow. That'll be to Burns. Backdoor pass it goes to Foster. Stripped and coming the other way is Jordan Hoyt. Hoyt with the steal. Going to dribble left side, going to drive all the way in, scoop it up, no good, but a foul called as she got grabbed from behind by Foster, and it'll be Jordan Hoyt going to the line to shoot two for the Beavers. 
You know, I have to mention and say, you know, in a, in a game like this where the score is so lopsided, they could easily give up and, and not play hard. But it's been fun to watch their bench, watch their coaches. They're still playing hard. They're cheering their teammates on. And that's what the game's all about. And it's just great to see that this first-year squad has, has this uh, mentality. And on the inbounds pass, as they called it on the ground, the foul on the ground, Emery Robinson with the bucket for Beaver makes it 57-5. to five. Dari Foster up top. She'll go left side high to Leroy. The foul, by the way, was called on Zoe Timmons. That was her second for Draper. Timmons has it left side on the elbow. Ball gets stripped and tie up on the ground. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors Draper, so they'll maintain possession. And now they're letting the clock run. Yes. 52-point Beaver lead here, 57-5, to five, four and a half to go in the game. Inbounding underneath for Draper is Kelly Burns. Calls out the set, looking in the lane, nothing there. Now just lobs it into Foster. Foster comes away with it and lays it in. Dari Foster with her first bucket. Great job for her to get, you know, a bucket on the board, and she'll get her name in the box score in the paper today. Up the floor comes a Beaver, right side on the wing, it'll go. Dribbling into the short corner is Robinson. Step back at 14-footer, misses that one hard air ball. Out of bounds it goes, last touch by Beaver. Draper basketball. And wholesale changes again by Draper as all five players that were on the bench come into the game. Just going to rotate those five in. Taylor Brown checks out as it'll be Braley Robinson in the game for Beaver. Across the timeline comes Jocelyn Foster. Works her way right side. Backs out, picked up by the Beaver zone. She'll come out to the uh, timeline to Balthazar. Balthazar works her way high left, tries to pass high post. Knocked away, picked up below by Foster for Draper. Right side to Maxfield. Down the lane it goes to Packer. Back out to Foster. Foster yo-yos back to the wing to Maxfield. Down the lane again to Packer. Turn around, 12-footer off the back. for him, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. And last touch by Beaver. Sir Draper basketball. And it's good to see Draper as they're passing the ball around, they're moving the ball quickly, not holding it, which, which, which is what you have to do against a zone to try to get an open shot. So they're doing some good, thing, good fundamental things here well offensively. Pass will be lobbed in up top, knocked away by Braley Robinson, picked up by Hoyt, turnover by Draper. And Hoyt coming the other way, gets across the timeline, guarded by Maxfield, and they'll be tied up, and Hoyt hits the floor. Foul called on Maxfield, and that will be her first and the team's third this half. A low, a low fouling game as only three team fouls for Draper, zero for Beaver this half. On the far sideline, Maxwell's going to come out of the game after the foul. On the sideline will be inbounding is Beaver. Up top it'll come to Braley Robinson. Under three minutes to go in the game, 57-7. to seven. Beaver the lead here in this 2A play-in game. Skip pass left side to Emery Robinson. Ball gets tipped and Chavez for Draper nearly had it. Out of bounds it goes. And they're going to say it is Draper basketball. The official there is talking to, to America Chavez, saying be careful there. You kind of got away with the push. We're going to let it go, but be careful. Yeah, she, she a pretty significant push there, Robinson, on the sideline, but still great. She, she read that pass really well, tipped away, so still to Chavez. Right side, it'll go to Balthazar on the wing. Up top, she comes to Dari Foster. She'll launch a straightaway three. Air ball out of bounds. It'll be Beaver basketball. Clock running here, down to 2.38 to go in the game. 57 to seven year score. Beaver has scored three points in the fourth quarter as Draper has scored four, so they're winning the fourth. Right side, short corner to Emery Robinson. She'll put up the shot round the rim, drops it in, and Robinson with the bucket. Robinson with four points this game. Freshman coming in, getting some good experience and getting, getting her name in the box score as well. Up the floor comes Jocelyn Foster now for Draper APA, right side to Balthazar. Pass down the lane, and he's going to be taken away by Hoyt. She's coming the other way. Hoyt with a few steals as she's come in in the second half. She's going to go coast to coast and lay it in. Jordan Hoyt with her first bucket of the game. Hoyt's been doing some great things with the freshman as well. I expect to see some really great things for her the next three years of her basketball career. Under two to go, 61-7, to seven year score. Jocelyn Foster from the free throw line knocks it in off the glass for Draper as she has four points to lead the Eagles. Up the floor, Braley Robinson going to launch a three and knock it down. And Braley Robinson around the rim and drops it in. We have a shoot-off on our hands. Robinson with a great straightaway three-pointer. Minute 38 to go, 64-9 year score. Dari Foster has it taken away by Emery Robinson. Turnover by Draper is going to be around their 40th. And Robinson brings it across the timeline. Picked up by Balthazar. Up top, she comes to Robinson. Down a minute 25 to go. Left side, they swing it to Erickson. Erickson into the corner to Marshall, Marshall comes back out to Erickson, looks to drive in, splits the double team, stripped on the way up, out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Draper. Beaver basketball underneath. Brooklyn Crumb checking in for Braley Robinson for Beaver and four new players for Draper. As they just leave Jocelyn Foster on the floor. Four others come in. That'll be Leroy, Timmons, Mueller, and Burns. 
Inbounding underneath is Emery Robinson. She'll lob out to Crum. Crum on the wing. Going to dribble in the lane. Kick it left side, short corner. Hoyt, 15-footer. Off the rim. No good. Rebound bounced up. And saved from going out of bounds by Hoyt into Crum. Crum on the floor. Kicks it back up top to Erickson. Right side to Emery Robinson. 17-footer off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound by Hoyt. Hoyt left wing. Comes out to the corner. 17-footer on the way by Crum. She'll miss it off the rim. And rebound knocked out of bounds by Draper. Beaver basketball with under a minute to go. Lady Beavers getting a lot of uh, shots there as they're getting a lot of offensive rebounds and getting some, some good shots, just none of them are falling. Inbounding is Emery Robinson. She'll lob up top right to Abby Leroy. So turnover by Beaver as Leroy has it for Draper. 48 seconds to go in the game. Timmons has it right side for Draper. Dribbles into the corner, gets cut off by Crum and reverses direction. Dribbling high right, she'll come up top to Foster. Foster works away left side, 17 footer, partially blocked and a foul called. They're going to send Jocelyn Foster to the free throw line to shoot two. That's going to go on Jordan Hoyt. Uh, already four points for Jocelyn Foster, looking to make it six here with two uh, attempts from the charity stripe. And try to get the Eagles into double figures. As they sit at nine points, first free throw is good. So Foster with a team high five for Draper. Three players into the game now for the Eagles. Final game of their season here today. Second one's in and out, rebound by Crum for Beaver. 35 seconds to go in the game. 64 to 10 year score. Up ahead to Hoyt. Hoyt gonna dribble right side, got by everybody, puts up the shot and knocks it down. Jordan Hoyt now with four points. Don't know how that went in, but it went in somehow. Nothing but net dropped right down the middle of the hoop. 20 seconds to go in the game. Foster across the timeline for Draper. She'll pass right side to Chavez and looks to go to Balthazar out of bounds. Last touch by Draper. So with 14 seconds to go, Beaver basketball. Pass will come into the backcourt to Crum. He'll bring it across the timeline and she's just going to yo-yo there on the Thunder logo and this one will come to an end as your final will be Beaver 67 and Draper 10. I have 66. So I, do I, I do too. That's why I was like, I missed They added the point. an extra point there for some reason, but I'm pretty sure it's 66. But either way, Beaver with a 50 plus point win here today over Draper APA Eagles as they get the win and advance into the state tournament next weekend at the Severe Valley Center in Richfield. We'll take the break on the Mid Utah Radio Sports Network and Central Com Channel 10. Anytime road service and repair in Beaver is your one-stop shop when it comes to your vehicle. For nearly 30 years, Anytime Road Service has been providing roadside assistance, towing, and automotive repair. When your vehicle is out of commission due to an accident, flat tire, or transmission issues, you can count on Brian and his fleet of 10 trucks and 9 techs to handle any towing or repair anytime. Anytime Road Service and Repair in Beaver offers towing and roadside service at low rates, day or night. Call 435-438-5376. Beaver Valley